G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and I'm here with Adobe Photoshop Elements 13 to show you some improvements that have been made to the organizer. The organizer is this button on the left hand side of the splash screen that you may not have tried before. Let's head over and check it out. Now I've already set up my catalogue, but if you haven't, you'll be prompted to import or upgrade your catalogue from previous versions. This process is pretty straightforward and although it'll take a few minutes, it's well worth doing. Here we are in my very large digital scrapbook library and the first thing you'll notice is that there is a new viewing mode. It's called an adaptive grid. So Photoshop Elements tries to show you word strips horizontally and um, resize the thumbnails to fit most of the item inside. Previous versions of Photoshop Elements Organizer you would have hardly been able to see that lace and the word art would have been tiny. But with the adaptive grid it's much easier to see what you're looking at. In fact it's much more than eye candy. It really makes it more easy to use. Gotta love that. Some of the new features in Photoshop Elements Organizer include this um, panel on the left hand side. Before we had our albums and folders in one big list. Now the folder view is its own panel. Now you'll see that by default you get the hierarchical view or tree view rather than the list view. I find it much more intuitive myself. The list view is in alphabetical order but the tree view helps you see where exactly in your folder structure the files are. You'll know whether Photoshop Elements has imported the pictures from within a folder by looking at the icon. If it's got a mountain range and sun icon that means it's been imported. Again we can see the adaptive grid it makes it really easy to see exactly which stitches we might want to use. The great thing, another great thing that's back in the Photoshop Elements Organizer is these checkboxes. It makes it really easy to search. I can search for previews just with one button. Now you'll notice that only a few previews has come up here because I am still looking within the Siren folder. If I want to go back and see all my previews, I'll just click on All Media. So now I can quickly search for various tags that I've used in my Photoshop Elements Organizer catalog. So there's all my glitter, rainbow, and so on and so forth. Of course we've still got our find by metadata which is my favorite way to search for my digital scrapbook supplies to do my tagging because it has a lot of detail. But I'm also glad to see that this quick way of searching via the checkboxes is back. The biggest improvement to Photoshop Elements Organizer isn't something that we can see with our eyes. It's now 64-bit. This means that Organizer can access more of our RAM and avoid having to write lots of things to our hard drives while we're using the Organizer. I've got nearly 200,000 items in this catalogue that we're looking at right now. And although I do have 16 gigs of RAM, I've noticed a big improvement in the performance in Photoshop Elements Organizer 13. Why not take another look at Photoshop Elements Organizer? If you want to learn more about organizing your supplies in Photoshop Elements Organizer, check out digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash go supplies. All of these changes and improvements certainly help with organizing your photos in Photoshop Elements Organizer too. If you'd like to learn more about how to do this and take advantage of the really intuitive places people and events rooms, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash go photos. I love Photoshop Elements Organizer and I'd love to see it working for you too.